Now you need a different robot for sensors to distance challenge. You don't want Clawbot IQ, you want Clawbot IQ Deluxe. And the difference is there's actually a uh, distance sensor on the front of the robot. So this thing called the sonar sensor is the distance sensor. You can see it um, in the front of the robot. Let's see if I can get it rotating around. So here you don't have a sensor on the front. It's on the back. With IQ Deluxe, it's actually right here under the claw. Okay, so you want IQ Deluxe, training, sensors to distance, and press play. So we need to detect these blocks with our distance sensor. The blocks are changing position each time. So if I refresh this, you'll see that they change their location. See? So we need to be able to detect where they are using our sensors. Okay? So the example code, the sample code you can get, is detect wall. It's in file, open sample program, under virtual worlds, vex IQ, distance sensor. If you select detect wall, this is what you'll get. Okay, there's a while loop. It says while get distance value, and then distance mm is the name of the sensor. Greater than 100. So while the distance sensor is more than 100 millimeters away, do what's inside here. And that is set motor speed, left motor 50, and right motor 50. So go forward at half speed. When we detect the block, the robot should stop moving. All right, so let's see how it works. Uh, download the program. All right. Still downloading. Now we can use the same distance sensor to detect the target behind the cube. All right. So you've got that as a as an option for your detection system. The other functions you're going to need, you already have used them if you've solved the challenges prior to this one. So I'll take a look at sensors one touch uh, and review the functions again that uh, are going to come in handy from there. All right, so I've downloaded the code, compiled it, and we'll run this code real quick and show you what happens. Okay, it ran until it got close to the block and stopped. If I set up a new system here and run it again, you'll see the same thing happens. It's going to go forward all the way until it gets close to the block and stops. Now mine's lagging a little bit. On yours, it should run smoothly. But you'll see it'll still stop just before it gets to the block. Okay. 100 value to something smaller if you want to get closer to the block. A quick look at them from sensors one touch so you can see what I'm talking about. But you'll need functions like move until distance in order to get back to where you started from. Uh, point turn right, point turn left, you'll need those. You'll need something to grab the block. So a grab block function, a release block function. You need to raise the arm and lower the arm in order to get that block into the target space. You won't need forward until bump, but you may need this move backwards to start function and for that function to work you need these two variables left motor encoder value and right motor encoder value to keep track of how far you've moved forward so that you can move backwards to where the robot started uh, to be suggest going back and watching the videos for uh, the the earlier uh, training challenges that come uh, from the virtual high-rise 